Um, my, project, my project is called Suck It Up, and what I, I tried to prove from this project is how can I attract the most oil out of water. And so I work at Roger Williams Park Zoo, and we have a can on game. For little, for little kids to learn about how wetlands work. And so what I do, what we do there is we take two sponges, we put them at the bottom of a um, plastic cupboard, yeah. and um, I take, I take lake, I take lake water out of the lake that we have there, and I put color fruit dye in there. And I put, after, then after I do that, I mix my hands in there, and it usually comes out this brown, really gross color. And so that, that's to prove like how. Um, how if we keep letting carbon di- dioxide and uh, poisonous gas and leaks into our wetlands, mm-hmm. it will eventually, re- um, it will eventually like close up and cause floods. Back like back in, a couple of years ago when the World Model flooded, that was one of the main reasons why. Oh wow! It's yep. because people build on top of them and people get these chemicals mixed into them. But my, and then I real- I remember from last back from last year when we had the oil crisis in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, I wanted to, it was, car, it was mostly car oil and gas that went into the water, and so what I did was I took water and I cut car oil on top of the water, and because water is heavier than oil, it pushed the oil right up to the top, and you can see that actually right over here. And so after, so what I did was because I went, uh, because my job gave me the idea, um, I used the sponge and I wiped the sponge up from the top of the water and that was the least accurate because it picked up less oil but more water yep. and that's not what I wanted to prove. And so and then I tried an eye dropper and that didn't even, that did worse than what the um, sponge did. It attracted even more water and less oil. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it, checked, it did a little bit better. It checked it less oil in less, but less, wa- um, in less water at the same time. And that's still not what I'm trying to get at. Oh, wow. And so when I, when I, when I did, um, when I, I moved on to rags, and the rags did basically the same thing as the eyedropper did, but only it attracted more water. And it turns out that uh, I used the cheap brand of paper towel yeah. to, to pick up the, to pick up the um, oil and the cheap brand actually picked up the most oil because what I did was I folded it into four and I just I just swiped it at the top of the oil and when I squeezed it out into a separate tin when I squeezed it out into a separate tin the mo- more oil came out. Oh, wow. Now, to get all my measurements and stuff get all my measurements I took a funnel, I put it into a plastic water bottle and I poured the mixture into a plastic water bottle. And then after that I took a um, a kitchen weight scale mm-hmm. and I just put the water bottle on top of the I put the water bottle on top of the um, scale and that's how I got all my measurements and all my mathematics done. Oh very good, wow. Any questions? Oh, it strikes me when you said the Gulf of Mexico spill, that's exactly what they were doing. They're trying to find something that would absorb right. the oil. So <laughs> also it, what made me think what also made me think about it was most, when that cruise ship in Italy uh, was sinking, oh, that yeah. made me think about it even more. Oh, wow. And after I was done doing this, I, I really wanted to go to Italy and help them clean out the water. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And what do you do at the zoo? Are you a docent? I am not a docent. I am a, I am a teacher there, actually. And what I teach about is how we keep our animals entertained, how we keep them fully active, how we keep them healthy, and how they rese- how animals like resemble human features. And for example, what we do is we put toys into their exhibit. Yeah. And they play with the, they play with all like toddler toys to keep themselves entertained. Oh wow. Oh, we, also cool. teach, we also teach about um, the ecosystem and how yeah. to keep the world going green. That's cool. Well cool. thank you Anthony.